It's a league where tolerance is written into the rule book. It's called the New York City Gay Hockey Association. The season's underway, and here comes Roger Clark has more on this. He is, uh, is on his skates, I presume, at Chelsea Piers this morning. Hi, Roger. Yeah, Pat, I'm attempting, barely attempting to, to stay up in these skates. <laughs> I'm not doing too bad. I got my Hot Shots jersey, and I'm here with Jeff Adams from the New York uh, City Gay Hockey Association. Jeff, thanks for having me. Thanks for having us. Good morning. And this is great. Let's uh, try and get, let's move a little closer to the camera. So, uh, how long has this league been around? Uh, we were formed in 1999. Okay. And it's uh, and, and now and you have a whole bunch of teams. And now I know you guys had a big tournament this past weekend uh, in honor of Gay Pride Week, right? Right. We had our fifth annual Chelsea Challenge tournament. Uh, we brought in 175 players from around the country and a couple from around the world. We had somebody in from France uh, mm -hmm. for a goalie. We had a couple players from Sweden in. Mm -hmm. Uh, Twelve teams played, eight in the recreational division, which is slightly higher, and four in the division, in a recreation, sorry, four in the developmental division. Bit of a tongue twister. Let's get uh, Eric Moon over here. Eric uh, knows, uh, uh, you could tell a little bit about the history of the league. Now, when it started, what, how did it all get going? Like, why did, who came up with the idea? Let's start a, a gay hockey league. Uh, Jeff Kagan is probably our foremost founder right here, and he went 97, he went up to uh, Toronto. They already had a league going up there and to a friendship tournament, and they kind of uh, put everything in rolling, and then off they went. And uh, with uh, Jeff Mink, they both met here after an essay he wrote that was displayed up there on their website. And that's where we started with. So that came to form uh, one team, which went into the Tigers. And then by uh, 99, we came to be the uh, country's largest gay hockey organization. Now, what's interesting, which, uh, now, which people may not understand or see, is that you don't have to be gay to play in the league. You have straight yeah. people, you have women, yeah, you have good. lesbians and straight women. Correct. So, th so about, that's really the message of the league. About 30% of our league is, uh, are women and about 20% are straight and I think we certainly offer an all-inclusive league and so uh, part of being in our uh, world of friendship is that uh, we don't exclude anyone as long as they're gay friendly and with that in mind we offer a great opportunity for a very well-run league that uh, we spend a great deal of time uh, keeping people informed and training and helping out and so we offer a lot of good support that people won't find in other adult leagues. And Jeff, talk about the, talk about the importance of this week. Uh, obviously the message out there is, you know, acceptance and tolerance and things like that. Um, was there a time when, you know, a lot of times, you know, you always hear about athletes, professional athletes even, afraid to come out and things like that. The stereotypes that go along with it, you know, did you have to fight that before this league started? Was there a time when hockey wasn't really, oh, gay people don't play hockey? I mean, it, I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but is that something that's true? Yeah, I think that's still the case, actually. Um, yeah. You know, there are people I say, I'm a, ho I'm a hockey player. And, you know, they already know that I'm getting like, play hockey? Wow, didn't know that. Um, and so it's a chance to really break the stereotypes. It's a chance to show that you know, we're really just like everybody else. You know, we come out here, we skate around. We're out here to win our games, you know, and uh, have a good time while we're doing it. All right, guys, thank you so much for having me, and uh, don't forget. And you can come down to check out the schedule. Come down to Chelsea Pierce, watch these guys play, watch the women play. Uh, some great hockey. I will not be playing because bad idea, oh, Pat, right? <laughs> Let's, go. <laughs> Let's go skate away. Right. Thanks, Pat. Once you improve those skating skills, you can get out there, Roger. Yeah, I can do some tricks. Watch. Yeah, see. Uh, uh -huh. All right, well, I'll we'll catch you later. Thank you. Visit our website at ny1.com or you can email us at ny1news at ny1.com.